President Muhammadu Buhari today bid farewell to outgoing members of the Federal Executive Council, FEC. He affirmed that a significant number of them have been sufficiently equipped to aspire to higher elective offices, including the office of the president. Speaking at a valedictory session for appointees leaving the cabinet to pursue political ambitions, the president expressed confidence that if the next president emerges from among former members of the cabinet, like any other aspirant, ample competence and outstanding service delivery would be on display. He added that the experience and expertise they brought on board have significantly resulted in enormous development in various sectors and the accomplishment of government programs. The departure of some cabinet members has undoubtedly created a vacuum that should be filled, that would be carried without delay so that the business of governance will not suffer. For members of the cabinet that are remaining on board, I wish to remind you that the journey to the finish line is very far and this calls for more diligence, resilience and commitment to serve Nigerians better. Speaking on behalf of the outgoing ministers, outgoing minister of Niger Delta, Mr. Godswill Akwabio, thank the president for giving them the opportunity to serve and contribute their quota to nation building. He described working with the president as a fantastic experience, adding that as they step aside, they will continue to be great disciples of Buhari. If you look at the fact that whenever you come close to political period, you always have a lot of uh, what I may call politically motivated uh, insecurity. But I, I know definitely that with the help of God, and of course with his wisdom and experience, he's tackling the situation. And now I would just want to reassure Nigerians, particularly those who are in, uh, afflicted by the current situation, that very soon the force of Mr. President will definitely bear fruits. The issue of my own case is not about myself. It's about protecting Nigerian women. Because we are fighting gender-based violence, and now what we are facing is political, togri political violence. And I don't see any difference between political uh, violence and gender-based violence. And that must stop. My decision is that I have made up my mind to contest for the governorship of my state, that is Habia State and I've graciously sought for a president's blessing and I've been blessed this morning. So I'm grateful for all the president has said and we're glad to have worked with a man who has so much passion for a nation called Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.